Thank you for joining me today on this tour of the Castaway Diorama. This diorama was created for a friend. At night is when this is really meant to be fully enjoyed. Um, it's more of a night light. The, um, the twinkle lights that I used in it are just twinkle lights from the Christmas section at Walmart um, and I just stocked up for future projects, but I like those twinkle lights because they work on a timer system. So they're on for six hours and then they turn off for 18 and then the same time the next day they come on, which is really handy. So. Um, so she, my friend that I made this for, she's gonna be able to enjoy the little fireplace that has the fish on it. And then also the torch inside this tiki uh, bamboo hut that I made. So the reason I chose Castaway is this was my friend's, uh, one of my friend's favorite movies. And it was also her dad's favorite movie who is no longer, uh, no longer with us. And so that was really something special. I wanted to pick uh, a film that I knew she would like, but it would be fun to also make for a diorama and something that would look really cool at night because this diorama is really mostly meant to be enjoyed at night. Um, during the day, it's still really uh, colorful and beautiful and all, all the leaves and the palm trees and everything, you can still be enjoyed during the day. But at night is really, really when it gives off like that, that ambiance, that ambiance of uh, a glowing fire and the torch inside the hut and uh, just all the little things here that you can see from the film. You'll notice that I was able to recreate FedEx boxes from the Castaway movie, which was really cool. And I, I actually found these little boxes on Etsy and I will link that store below, but it was very easy to follow their instructions and to cut it out and glue it together. And then I used a little bit of paint to age these boxes and, uh, and keep them from, um, you know, looking too new. They needed to look like they'd been through the ocean and then maybe found and then maybe been weathered over time. I also created this tiny little Wilson, which was really fun. I just made him out of clay and then baked it and then um, did the, the blood print hand uh, on the front with the face. And also you can see here that there's some ice skates. This also I found on Etsy, some 1 12th uh, scale skates. And it was really nice because they came um, uh, on this little stand where I was able to paint it. I didn't have to get my hands all, all painted up, but those turned out really nice and I just that's such a memorable moment in that movie is when he's you know he's got to have his tooth taken out and he's on an island and he's in so much pain and so he just one two four, and he just knocks his own tooth out <laughs> so I thought that would be really fun to have in this diorama too um, and then also you can see here that I've got this little hut that he lives in and this was something this diorama was more um, this is not a, like a recreation of what was in the film because in the film he did use the raft, he had that yellow raft, and he made himself a little area where where he kind of uh, set up for a while until he was able to get his get his wits about him. Um, but then he found shelter in like the, almost this, this cave rock um, up above the water. And that's where he kept track of the time, you know, the time based on the sun coming in and how long he was there. So I, I wanted to do something that was a little different. Maybe this was something a little bit more long-term. Like he, he decided, well, I'm gonna build something out in the trees and. And um, so this is kind of the start of it. You know, there would probably be a lot more stuff, garbage and trash and whatnot that he could collect from the ocean. But I just wanted to portray a little spot where, that he's got set up for his things that are most precious to him. Way back there on the bed, you can see that there's a little recreation of his pocket watch that has the woman in it. And I, it, I'm not very good at the little tiny details of clay. So I, I was sure to put that in the way back where you could kind of see it, but not to get too close because it's pretty amateur. <laughs> um, and then I really enjoyed making this little fireplace with the lights and the fish that he's got there cooking and, and a little knife. And this whole project was so fun to make. It took me about a month uh, picking at it off and on. I use many different kinds of media to make this. Um, the bamboo that I used to make the hut is actual bamboo stalks that you can get in the garden section at Home Depot. And um, I think they're used for like staking up tomatoes and that kind of thing, but I just cut them down and then all the leaves, all the shrubbery is of course fake and it's from all different places. It's from the dollar store, it's from Walmart, it's from Michaels, just things that I had been collecting over time. Um, I collected the moss and, and the vines that, that went through uh, on the rockery there. And then I also made this little area in the back that almost looks like maybe he set up shop next to a cave. And you can't see back into the cave. I made it pretty dark on purpose, but it just gives the illusion that maybe there was somewhere to go there. There was somewhere to get, 
to get out of the weather, uh, you know, if the winds got really bad. And then as far as the ground, I just used a mixture of um, uh, wood glue, just wood glue, and I just mixed that up with all different kinds of like, of the fake shrubbery and the moss and just, and just made it so it was really fine. And then I just mixed that wood glue in it and just kind of started pasting it to the ground and it really turned out nice. It, it held up well, it's still holding up really well. Uh, I'm gonna have to ship this about four hours from my house through USPS um, or probably uh, UPS is probably the route I will go. They're a little bit more careful with things. And then um, just some odds and ends rockery. And then as far as florals, that was really fun too to pick out some florals that I was able to put in here. I would say the only real thing with it that I would do different next time is if you're gonna paint craft foam, two millimeter or six millimeter, it takes on paint really well. It doesn't warp it, it doesn't shrink it or distort it in any way, but um, there was poster board that I used for the interior of this that I painted the green onto and that I, I used kind of as my background. And when poster board gets painted, I didn't realize how bad it warped. So when I painted it green, it got pretty funky and it warped on me and I was able to kind of bend most of it back to the shape. But you know, the ceiling is a little bit warped, but I think my friend, I think she'll be okay with it. It, it, it looks nice. I did cover the outside with a two millimeter craft foam that I carved into it to look like wood. I was really debating whether to go with the green or the brown, but after doing a little section in green, I really liked the way that the brown looked. Um, so we got settled on brown. And then of course the battery box up above, I just made a little, a little box out of uh, poster board and glued that down and painted it. So that way there's just a discreet little place for her to have the battery pack. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to make more for you. If you have any other suggestions of dioramas that you wanna see or sewing tutorials or another crafty tutorial, please leave me a comment below. Give a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye.